Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the implicit differentiation involving inverse trigonometric functions and natural logarithm. Here is a theorem about the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions that we will be needing in solving some examples later. d over dx of the inverse of sine x is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared d over dx of the inverse of cosine x is equal to negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. d over dx of the inverse of tangent x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. d over dx of the inverse of cotangent x is equal to negative 1 over 1 plus x squared d over dx of the inverse of secant x is equal to 1 over absolute value of x times square root of x squared minus 1. And finally, d over dx of the inverse of cosecant x is equal to negative 1 all over the absolute value of x square root of x squared minus 1. Now, let us apply these derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions in some examples. For the first one, find the derivative of y equals the inverse of sine x minus the inverse of cosine x. To find the derivative of this function, we will have dy over dx is equal to d over dx of the inverse of sine x minus d over dx of the inverse of cosine x. Applying the theorem earlier, d over dx of sine x is equal to 1 all over square root of 1 minus x squared, while d over dx of inverse of cosine x is equal to negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. Simplifying this, negative times negative, we will get positive. Since we have the same denominators, what we need to do is to add the numerators. Thus, dy over dx of the given function above is equal to 2 over square root of 1 minus x squared. Another example, find the derivative of y equals 1 minus 2 inverse of tangent x plus the inverse of tangent x quantity squared. To find its derivative, we will get dy over dx is equal to d over dx of 1 minus 2 times d over dx of inverse of tangent x plus d over dx of inverse of tangent x quantity squared. d over dx of 1 is equal to 0 and d over dx of the inverse of tangent x using the theorem that we have presented earlier is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. Moreover, while here, using chain rule, we will get 2 times the inverse of tangent x times 1 all over 1 plus x squared. Simplifying it, we will get 2 over 1 plus x squared plus 2 inverse of tangent x over 1 plus x squared. Since we have here same denominators, we will add the numerators, giving us with 2 plus 2 times the inverse of tangent x all over 1 plus x squared. For our third example, Find the derivative of y equals inverse of secant x plus inverse of cosecant x. So we will have here dy over dx is equal to d over dx of inverse of secant x plus d over dx of inverse of cosecant x. Applying the derivatives of the inverse trigonometric functions, we will get 1 over the absolute value of x times the square root of x squared minus 1 minus 1 over the absolute value of x square root of x squared minus 1. You will notice that from addition, we have here 
subtraction because remember that the derivative of the inverse of cosecant x is equal to negative 1 over absolute value of x times square root of x squared minus 1. Moreover, since we have here the same denominators, we simply need to subtract the numerators. Since we have 1 minus 1, we will get the final answer 0. Another theorem, the derivatives of logarithmic functions. d over dx of ln x is equal to 1 over x. And d over dx of logarithm of x to the base a is equal to 1 over x times ln a. Let us apply this theorem on the following examples. Find the derivative of each function. For the first one, we have y equals ln x over x squared. Let us apply the quotient rule. y prime equals g of x times the derivative of f of x minus f of x times the derivative of g of x all over the square of g of x. Let f of x be equal to the numerator ln x and applying the theorem earlier, the derivative of ln x is equal to 1 over x. Let g of x be equal to the denominator x squared and the derivative of g of x is equal to 2x. Substitute them on our formula above. We will get x squared times 1 over x minus 2x times ln x all over x raised to 4. Multiplying x squared times 1 over x, we will have x minus 2x ln x all over x raised to 4. Since we have a common factor x on both terms at the numerator, we may factor out x to be x quantity 1 minus 2 ln x all over x raised to 4. Divide x and x raised to 4, we will have the final answer to be 1 minus 2 ln x all over x cubed. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, let us discuss about related rates. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.